did. Yeah. Okay. So shall I start? Yes, that's great. If you can maximize the PowerPoint presentation, I guess it would okay. be great for everyone. Okay. So let's move on. So one of my idea was to create operations to perform file and Excel functions in the remote server. So first, let us talk about the current functionality of the file operations or the Excel operations currently we have in HP operation orchestration. So suppose um, I want to read some file or I want to write, uh, write to a file or I want to read uh, some content from an Excel sheet. Uh, we have several operations in HPO like write file, read file, get cell operations. But the thing is that those can be only performed on the RAS server. Suppose there is a file which is there on the remote server, we can't directly can't read that content from directly from that remote server. For that purpose, we need to either we need to copy that file to a RAS server, and from there we can read the file, or we need to use some PowerShell scripts for getting the content. So here comes the uh, my idea into picture. So with the help of this implementation, we can directly read the content from the remote server itself. So uh, as uh, for my implementation, I have used uh, PowerShell scripts, like the communication from the HP operation orchestration uh, to the remote computer will be by using the PowerShell scripts. So uh, with the help of one use case, I would like to illustrate this scenario. Uh, see, for an example, there is a company called X. Uh, they are involved in a project. In a, they are involved in an automation project, uh, uh, and to in that project, they are they having an Excel sheet. They are using an Excel data as an input. So the input for this project is an Excel sheet. So what the team they need to uh, read some content from that Excel data. In order to read that Excel data, what they are do, going to do? They are going to put that Excel sheet on the RAS server. But the thing is that the security admin of that particular company, they are not allowing him to copy that Excel sheet to the RAS server. As they are performing some um, macros functions in that Excel, and the security admin is not allowing him to copy that to the RAS server. So with the help of the content pack which I developed here, the, he will be able to, you know, uh, rather than copying it to uh, copying the con uh, Excel content uh, Excel sheet to the RAS server, he can directly read that uh, from the remote server itself. So, uh, for this implementation, some prerequisites are uh, required. Obviously, the RPC port should be open, and uh, there should be an access from RAS server to the remote computer, and we might we should have the access to run PowerShell scripts. So let me show you the HPO content which I have developed. Uh, first, I would like to show you the write file operation. So for this, uh, I have a remote server, and I have uh, kept one text file called the hello.txt here. Uh, so these are the inputs which I, I will be collecting from the user, like host name, username, password, the path of the file, and the content to be returned to that uh, return to the file and uh, this is like override like uh, whether you want to override the existing content or you want to add the content to the existing content so let me run it let me enter the host name So I'm making the override to false.
So meanwhile, let me show you the uh, uh, operations which I have used. First, I have used a string comparator. So that will be comparing to overwrite, whether the overwrite is true or false. It will check that. If it is um, overwrite is false, then what it will do? It will do a remote, uh, in a remote command execution operation, I have used a command to add the content. If the overwrite is true, then what it will do? It will just set the content. That it will be getting over return to the existing content, whatever uh, present in that Excel. So see, uh, the process has been completed. And let me open the file. So yeah. So the whatever we have given the content that has been returned into the uh, Excel, uh, I mean uh, to the Notepad, hello world has been added to the existing content. So let me show you the other operations like uh, read the file. So for that purpose, I will be using the same uh, uh, host. So let me run it. So here I have added an additional input like enter the number of lines to fetch like uh, from beginning like first uh, two lines, first three lines, how many lines you need. So even though if I'm not giving this, uh, what it will do like it will be fetching all the content. So if I am spe specifically giving some uh, value over here, then it will fetch only those content. So here I'm, now I'm not going giving any values. Minimal, I will show you the content. Uh, as in the write file operation, I will be uh, using a check file operation and I will be checking whether, la whether the line uh, input is null or what. If it is null, then I will be fetching the complete, complete content from that uh, file. If it is not null, that means the user has given like uh, he need the first one line or uh, two lines, something like that he has given. Then I will be using this command for getting uh, getting whatever the user has entered. So now this is run successfully and we have got the, uh, we, the values has been fetched from that file. Like this is a temporary file and hello all. So. This is all about the read file and write file. And uh, now the read Excel on the remote machine. Um, actually, I didn't got a server uh, with the Excel installed in it. So I can't uh, show you the demo on a remote server. And if you want to show this, uh, if, you, uh, if you want to run this means, I, will sh I can show you that with the help of localhost. Is it OK? Yes, yes, you can you can run it with localhost. Okay, okay, thank you so much. So I will use the localhost for this thing. Um, so my uh, desktop, I have created one Excel sheet called test.xlsx. I can I will show you the content. Just some sample value test one, test two, test three. I have added to this file, and let me give the name of that file. Sheet number. Enter the sheet number. Okay. I need. I have only one sheet, so I am entering one, and uh, one. That is first row, first column. That value I need to fetch. Yes, this ran successfully, and we are get, getting the return result as the test. That is the 
first value we are getting that um so this is all about the content which i have developed and uh, so the benefits of using this is like obviously the flexibility um the, the the user will be able to directly read the file contents or the uh, he will be able to directly write the contents to to an excel or to a file which is present there in the remote computer so uh, with the help of this the roi value can be increased so the conclusion will be like uh, Uh, as i illustrated uh, i have already illustrated an use case to you like uh, now the developer he will be able to directly read the excel sheet from the remote server itself rather than copying it to a raw server so there won't be any security issue in that so and this uh, content pack this can be used with used for uh, uh, this can be used for any other, uh, other other firms can also use this uh, content pack so so that's all about this idea 